Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle and I'm a blogger at the Purple Pumpkin blog and Disney Tips and Reports.com. Today I have got a review of a vaping kit from Vape Mates. I did give up smoking about two years ago and the way I gave up smoking was through e-cigarettes. I've tried several different e-cigarettes over the years, different brands and this latest one that I am now trying, which was sent to me to review, is by a company called Vape Mate. If you are not an e-cigarette user, this video is not going to be of any interest to you. So, you know, please feel free to just click off and go and watch something else. That's absolutely fine with me. Right, so with the kit that I got, which was the Vape Mate Flare, I got the battery, which is the bottom bit there, the clear miser, which is the top bit there where you put the liquid, and the carry case the battery it's really handy because you can keep everything together you can put it in your bag and not sort of like risk everything falling about inside your bag which is generally what it's like for me with my handbag because when I'm sort of like gonna go out and like oh you know if I've got my liquid if I've got my charger if I've got this that, and the other it's all there self-contained in the little case the little charger fits into the case you can put a couple of bottles of liquid in as well so they are like that and you can close it up and I can pop that in my bag and know that I've got everything that I need and not panicking when I'm somewhere and I'm like you know my batteries run out and I can't vape basically. I am used to this type of vaping device there are like these big tank things that i've never used what is there to say about it really if i compare it to what i was using before um the outstanding difference for me is the choice of liquids that can go in your clear riser, which is this the other thing that i really like actually is that you can change the little atomizer coil which is kind of like it's, it's a bit of like rope or something that the sort of e-liquid sort of gets soaked up by and that's what causes the vapour to go up so you just simply replace it like that I have bought myself as well a little pack of refills for them now I don't know if it's official that you can do it but I did read online that you can wash these out so that is exactly what I've done I did buy an e-juice it was a maraschino cherry one I really love the smell of that and the taste but when I put it in my e-cigarette I just it I didn't like it in my mouth so I had one of these full up and I wanted to use it for a different flavor so I emptied it out washed it out just with warm water thoroughly blew it out like that and left it to dry for 24 hours because literally all that is is just like the tube the important bit there is the bit that you can change so I just threw the old one away and have replaced it. If I give you an example of my old e-cigarette that I now no longer use, you can just see here, I'm not going to focus very well, but up here on each side is the rope bit that obviously gets absorbed, the liquid absorbs it. And what would happen is after a couple of weeks that would just taste foul and I'd have to throw that whole thing away and buy new clearomizers. Now I have bought new clearomizers, I've got like a stash of them for my vape mate e-cigarette because you know i don't know if officially you're supposed to wash these out so it's only a little experimentation at the moment but with that i'd have to replace them probably once every two weeks i guess that's probably because of the amount of times i use it but this one like i said you can change the little coil so that's not a problem on this you can see it's like a black casing and you can just see the gauge for the liquid you fill it that way up I find that this sometimes dribbles out just a tiny little bit. In fact, the very first time I refilled this, not thinking that that would happen, I got some some of it dripped out onto my hands and, it, you know, you're not supposed to get it on your skin, so I had to go and wash sort of my hands straight away. And it wasn't a problem, I suppose, um, but it was kind of unexpected for that to happen. And also what I miss from a clear container is obviously being able to see really clearly because I have to wear glasses. I can't, I have to sort of hold things quite a distance or take my glasses off to fill up and then I sort of run into all sorts of problems. So the filling up of this is kind of, I have to be a little bit more careful with it than my old one. What really sells it for me with Vape Mate is the amount of liquids that they have. 
they have got so many different flavours and in so many different categories that I've got five, I've got six bottles of the stuff and they're all different flavours. With my old e-cigarette, there was only one flavour I liked, it was a berry flavoured one and even that was starting to really get on my nerves actually which is why I'm so glad I've switched to this one now because I never get bored. I prefer fruity type flavours in my e-liquid so um, that is exactly what I've got so fruity and sweet rather than I really don't like the taste of tobacco so they do do tobacco liquids I'm not a fan of those in fact when I used to smoke I used to smoke menthol cigarettes and I'm actually not a fan of menthol e-liquid I did used to have it for my old one and it just tasted weird so I stopped smoking it um, or vaping it I should say the liquids I have got are pear drops, fruit punch, sweet cherry which I've not tried yet, marzipan also not tried, black cherry not tried and pina colada so there's four that I haven't tried. I'm actually vaping on the moment on fruit punch and I need to refill my pear drops one but I really like both of them. I've got my clear remiser, I've got my liquid. I'm going to try black cherry for the first time. They are really secure, I mean obviously you keep these away from children, e-liquids are toxic. So you do have to be careful when you're filling up your e-cigarette. I can't even open this. That's how, that's how safe this is as an adult, I can't even open it. Okay, nearly done, there you go. Mm, that smells nice. Let's hope it tastes good as well. I'm going to hold it on a tissue just in case. Put the liquid in, avoid the tube down the middle and you squeeze a few drops in. I think it's about 10 drops, maybe a few more. And then you put the little coil in the bottom, screws in tightly. Nothing came out that time. Seems to be only when I refill them that it drips out a little bit, but I don't know if that's condensation or what. And then you just screw on the thing to the bottom. You turn it on by clicking that about five or six times and it flashes. I think I've just turned that off. It has got the same colour flash so that is kind of like, I wish it sort of like flash red and green or something. I'm going to let that just settle a bit. That's more cherry fired than the other cherry one, I have to say, but not as much of a cherry hit as I'd like, personally. With the Fake Mate e liquid, and all of a sudden I'm looking over a bit because I'm now reading off the website. You have different blends and different levels of nicotine. I have got on mine 70% VG which is their most popular blend, smooth inhale with clouds of vapour and I have got the 1.2% which is for smokers of 10 standard strength cigarettes a day. I could probably afford to go a bit lighter because I did used to smoke light cigarettes, that's 0.9, uh, sorry 0.6 and they actually have a 0% strength which means you just get the flavour and free enjoyment and none of the nicotine. So that is my ultimate goal is to, to get off the nicotine because I still obviously, even after a couple of years, I still crave nicotine, but um, I don't have all the nasties inside this as I did with cigarettes. Onto the liquids again, like I said, loads and loads of different flavours, really funky flavours as well, as well, like rhubarb and custard and fruit punch. I think I've got that one. There's one called Beach Party. There are ones after desserts like strawberries and cream. And obviously your standard flavours like tobacco flavour and menthol as well. That really is about it for my Vape Mate chit chat review type thing. Until next time, bye.